readings and salutations, universe. This is Krita, and this is OmniFactory. Ooh, look at these banisters. Yes, indeed, in between episodes, we've made just a few little visual upgrades. However, uh oh, looks like our wall has some power going up to that second floor. Maybe that has something to do with this episode. Eh, yeah, probably. But thankfully, we do have the ability to. Oh, that placed in a funny way. Um, I did end up making a crowbar, so we can just yoink that off. I guess we don't really need it in that particular spot, but I'm just going to do it for my own sanity. Uh, we're going to cover up that wire so that we can't, uh, we don't have to look at it, is the primary idea going on there. Um, if you take a look to what we have right here, we, this is sort of what I'm focusing on this episode. I'd really like to be able to make circuits. Um, the issue with circuits is that we need phenol, and phenol, uh, it looks like one of the primary ways that we can get it is from the pyrocluse oven. So we just need steam, uh, phenol there, um, and then it's either coke or coal dust. So, or coal or coal dust turning into coke and coke dust and phenol. Uh, that is at least the idea. Um, so let's get started with a pyrocluse oven. Uh, we have a quest for it, um, quest line, early game, earlier than the early game, the beginning. Uh, it is one of the last things that we need to do in this page. We should be able to actually wrap this up relatively quickly. Um, so let's first make a pyrocluse oven. I believe we need uh, one of these, maybe, possibly. There we go, pyrocluse. I call it a pyrocluse, but it's clearly pyrolease oven. Um, thankfully, we should have everything we need for the oven on the next floor. Look at these banisters. Oh, they're lovely. They are slightly annoying. I'm so used to just blasting through these doors and jumping off here. But uh, now that I've moved these lanterns, we should be able to jump off and over. Um, we have an elevator that goes up to it. But you know what? Let, let's go up the proper way. Ah, look at these banisters. They're so nice. Um, some of them are a little bit tricky. I don't like this interaction right here, but uh, we can just jump off. Um, we already have the energy input right there. Um, behind here, we have the energy coming in, and we also have some machines prepped right here for fluid extraction and this chemical reactor where we're going to have the, uh, the phenol coming in. So I believe this is everything else that we need. Some Cupra nickel coils to go around uh, the center block right here. Um, so there's a lot of ways to make this. Basically, you just need the coils in the middle and, and then all the other machines. You can see the the block right here. Whenever these ULV machine casings are present, I believe we can replace it with pretty much anything. I'm hoping. Um, obviously, the input hatch I think should be okay in the bottom instead of the exact middle. Um, let's see, pyrocluse oven, we want to have the input bus on top, and let's just pull out the rest, fluid output. Um, fluid output, I think I kind of want to have it on the bottom. Uh, fluid input on the top, and output bus are there. I should see this thing get made. Oh, it is grumpy, so it looks like we might need to convince it otherwise. What could be involved there? Do we need to break the blocks here? We might have to do that. So um, break this fella and this one carefully. Place, place. Does it work now? No. All right, let me figure out what is causing this to be grumpy and we'll be right back. As it turned out, everything except for the oven itself was in the correct location. Uh, the energy input it can go down there on the bottom, so we're in good shape there. Uh, and now the pyrolease oven is complete. Um, so we can deselect that. The way that we're gonna get this thing steam, I think we're gonna use ender tanks. Uh, these things are so fantastic. And we should definitely have a elevator here as well. Where is the elevator? Is it somewhere around here? It is here. All right, we'll have an elevator here momentarily, but for right now, that'll do nicely. Um, so, I should have everything we need. Can we make a few ender tanks, please? Three ender tanks will do nicely. 
Um, I'm going to go with light gray, white, and then light gray again. Um, and then probably need some more one, more of these for phenol. But Ender tanks are very similar to the fantastic and wonderful um, Ender chests, where you need to have these be matching on the top. So it's sort of like a code. And I feel like these three together kind of look like steam. And we have steam down here. And I just want to prioritize that if it gives me the option. It doesn't seem to give me the option, but it did get full very quickly as well. Hmm. That's hard to tell, but maybe we'll move it over here. And it's really cool. You can see the fluid kind of in the tank here. It's a light gray, whereas before it looked empty. Um, this guy, just for my own brain, we're going to have this going in from the back. And no extract. Lovely. We have access to steam. I could pipe this up through our system here. But uh, I kind of want to test out the ender tanks. I don't want to have pipes all over the place if I can avoid it. Up again, there we go. Um, so output, input is at the top. So will it pull out on its own? That is a good question. It looks like it does. We have fluid in there. And this got full of steam, nice and easy peasy. So then we just need to have an output tank and some input. Um, we could manually input it. But instead, we'll get some storage chests. And by storage chests, obviously, I meant storage crates. There we go. Um, all right, so phenol kind of has a brownish gray color, to my opinion. It's almost all brown, but I think we will be using brown, brown, brown for something else. So for the purpose of this, I think I want to go brown and dark gray. I feel that might look nice. Um, do we have some dark gray or just like gray? What is, is there a dark gray? It, no, it's just gray and light gray. Okay, no big deal. Where is the bone meal? There we go, lovely. Just toss in a that with a that and there we go, some gray. Um, we don't wanna use like a universal color scheme, otherwise that'll confuse us later. Uh, especially if we have multiple fluids that might be similar. Um, so again, we could accomplish this by just piping it around, but I'm kind of playing around with ender chests right now, and uh, I think it looks nice. So now if we, looks like idling, I believe that if we put in some coal, we should be making phenol. So let's grab some coal, a little bit of coal right there, no big deal. Um, might have to get some more. Can I make this stuff? How do I make it? Loot Fabricator, Creeper Matter. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I love deep mob learning. Um, toss that in there and it all gets sucked into the input hatch right there, uh, the input bus, and it doesn't seem to be working. Hmm, why not? Um, Coke. Coke, Pyrocluse. Ah, it needs an integrated circuit. Um, Integrated circuits are kind of interesting. They allow you to select like what recipe you're going to be using. And I imagine it just needs to be in an input slot. So we just have to find <laughs> one of my many locations where I keep circuits. There we go. Integrated circuit. Plus one. Lovely. Jump up to the next floor. Replace some of that coal right here with a one. And you immediately saw the coal go away. The circuit did not. The circuit just kind of sits there saying, what recipe are we using? And this should, uh, after a moment, we should have some phenol up here. Isn't that cool? And we're moments away from having our first little bit of phenol up here, and you should see the brown liquid coming on over here. Uh, and then we can just crowbar the side of this. So crescent hammer, I think, will function. We crowbar this little guy in the middle. Oh, that's not it. Do we do it just with our hands? Oh, okay, just with our hands. Crowbar turns it around. Whoopsies. Um, and now it'll go down into the chemical reactor. Uh, and the reason we want that is coated circuit boards plus phenol makes these phenolic substrates. And these in an assembly machine will allow us to make electronic circuits, which is the second tier of the one thingamabobbers, which we'll need to make the second tier twos as well. Oh, how fantastic is that? Um, 
Now, if I remember correctly, we are gonna need some capacitors and then also some transistors. So I did prepare some and I accidentally made some transistors right here. Uh, it's just some aluminum foil made in the cluster mill along with some rubber sheets and fine silver wire. No big deal. Uh, I also want to make some capacitors, so might as well make a stack of that. Lovely. And that'll put us in good shape to make the further stuff. Now the coated circuit boards, I think we might want to get some more of that. It does make a lot of it, um, so maybe not a full stack of it, but you know, enough so that we can be in good shape. Rubber, yoink, coated circuit boards. Yep, that'll be good for right now. Um, so we should be able to make everything we need. Now we need resistors. We can also make the resistors for cheaper. Uh, copper wire and coal dust, saving on the paper right there. Um, does it save on the coal dust as well? It does save on coal dust, nice. Uh, but I already have some kind of prepared. Um, what else did it need? The copper wire, we have the capacitors, beautiful. Um, I have the liquid tin up there already. Uh, and, and that should be pretty much everything. So we should be able to make our circuits momentarily, uh, assuming that we have everything flowing properly. Um, we will also see the Coke going into this storage container, which is fantastic. I'm gonna just place this right there. And, uh, oop, I didn't wanna place the other one. My bad. Um, we should be able to put the coated circuit boards in here. This will make our phenolic substrates and then item auto output and into the assembly machine here. What was the recipe? It's a little bit of fine copper wire, some res capacitors and then some resistors and you should function now, yes? Ah, we need the fluid going down into that chest. Um, we have a fluid extractor so we can have tin. It'll go down into our tank right here uh, that's just a, for vis visibility purposes, it could be directly over it, but now we should be getting our very first uh, second tier one circuits. Oh, that is so fantastic. We're going to wait a moment until we have a good chunk of these, and then we'll go straight into making our tier two uh, second ones, the electronic processors. These are a, a replacement to those primitive fellows. Um, keeping in mind these take like red alloy cables, vacuum tubes, all sorts of things, and then this takes a diode and four primitive circuits. These things are expensive compared to the ones we're about to make. Whoa, so happy we have this set up. All right, we should be ready. We made a few. We could have made more, but that's all good. Let's put in some transistors. Now the cool thing is, note that the phenolic substrates are not part of our electronic processors here but the assembler works anyway. It'll just make anything it can with the supplies inside, even if you have extra supplies that are not applicable to that recipe. Assembly machines, assembling machines are kind of clever that way, uh, but sometimes you might end up making the wrong thing. Um, now with any luck, that should be our quests complete, but it might have skipped a few for us. Let's take a look at our quest lines early game. Yep. All of these are now complete. Fantastic. Uh, now, I kind of, I, I, I partially want to delve into this to make some things on this page. Where is ethylene? I'm sure it probably wants us to make ethylene soonish, maybe, possibly, maybe? I don't know. Um, but this will still, at least, at the very least, allow us to make a whole bunch of fantastic and lovely things. Why is there phenol in this? That's not good. That's very bad. Hmm. Hmm. Might have to move this down because this is probably exporting into that tank as well. <laughs> uh, that's not good. Hmm. That's that's actually pretty bad. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, fantastic electronic processors are ours and we now have much easier access for the future. I'm gonna put in these capacitors which are going to allow it to continue making our tier one circuits, the electronic circuits, and we now have processors. Oh, how fantastic is that? All right, next up, I think that I kind of want to just get through some more of our quests right here. So let's get some recipes up and running. 
The first quest that we're just going to smash out is pretty easy. We have some phosphate uh, dust from... Where did this come from? Probably, I guess, phosphor? Ores? Hmm. Phosphor. Phosphate. Do we have a whole bunch of that somewhere? Aha! We do! Brilliant! What can this do? Phosphate. Okay, so we can get more phosphate from that. Uh, phosphate is how we're going to get phosphorus. Uh, we just have to put it in our little good old electrolyzer here. Um, I'm not I'm not doing um, electrolyzer on a whole bunch of these because we don't really have very good fluid storage yet, and a whole bunch of these like are make oxygen and whatnot. And I want to be able to kind of save as much of that as possible. Uh, some of these are completely useless, like red garnet. If we do an electrolyzer on that, oh, actually some of that looks okay. Um, just certain things, not super useful. We have plenty of iron, so I'm kind of considering brown, brown limonite to be semi-easy oxygen and hydrogen. Um, iron we have in massive supply. Uh, I did update our DML room, so if we take a look with a Yetta wrench, um, you'll see a whole bunch of cabling going on back here, um, and we even have this hooked up to our pulsating polymer clay setup. Um, yeah, we, we have unlimited ingots, uh, just not a perfect supply of it, but you know, 52,000 iron, pretty good. Uh, so let's see, do we have our phosphorus? We do. Uh, that's going to process a little bit more, but if we take a look at our fluids, we have this oxygen. I don't have a good place to store this yet, so maybe we can look into making um, like some better tanks. Can we make a quantum tank? We might be able to make a quantum tank. Ooh, that's sixty-four million bu or sixty-four thousand buckets. Eh, that, that, that that's pretty good. Um, I don't know if it can move around very well, but anyway, that's phosphor us, um, which is fantastic. Uh, not going to be able to do ME, but I certainly need storage soon. I mean, look at the <laughs> the chests are starting to stack up, everyone. Not good for us. Uh, next quest. The next thing that there's a quest for is the hardened jetpack. Uh, thankfully, all of these things are slightly easy, and we already have the leadstone jetpack. The hardened thrusters do need some magmatic dynamos, but all of these things are relatively straightforward, dark metal gear being kind of the most annoying. But uh, thankfully, we should have everything we need for the thrusters. There we go. And leadstone jetpack, toss that in there. And what now are we missing? Um, I think it's just confused. We have all the things, but it just really wants us to do this all proper like. There we go. Hardened jetpack should be a quest complete. Uh, should we just try and go for the reinforced one? What What's needed for that one? Reinforced jetpack -o. Uh Electrum, that dude. This is reactant dynamos. Ah, that's not so bad. Let's make that. And we should have our... Energize by Metal Gears popping out here momentarily. There's that fourth one. Uh, is that everything we need for two of the reactant dynamos? It is beautiful. Toss those in there. Get two of the fantastic and wonderful reinforced thrusters. And now we just need a teensy bit more stuff in the form of a flux. What was that? Reinforced flux capacitor? <laughs> That's such a fun name. Um, what on earth do you need more of? Redstone? Okay. And there we go. A reinforced jetpack. Nice. Um, and the quest to go along with it. Uh, this should give it a quick little charge, but it does have quite a significant amount of energy in there. Um, can we equip that? And will it charge while it's on? Cool. Yeah, the flying's not terrible. Shall we go outside and try it? Yoink! Into the sky we go! Ha <laughs> ha! That's not terrible at all! That's pretty good! Nice! Um, now, personally, I want a different type of, uh, of flight, and maybe we'll do that in the next episode? I don't know. Um, but I think deep mob learning might be able to help us uh, attain a little bit more of a creative type of flight. Uh, this one... Uh, we will eventually be using this to make a resonant jetpack. Uh, is it not a resonant jetpack? Is it the advanced one? 
Ah, we'll need to make another, really another Vibrant or another Reinforced one. And then eventually we'll be able to get the Angel Ring. Uh, this thing will be quite fantastic because I like the Lapis. Uh, is this Lapis? No, Cobalt. I like the Cobalt armor. Um, and I don't really want to switch it out with a Flight Suit, so to speak. I like having Haste 3. Haste 3 is very nice. All right, let's blast through a few more quick quests. Um, now, the cool thing with the RF capacitors is we have now access to these normal capacitors, which means that we can make them a little bit more cheaply, which is fantastic. I love that so much. Uh, next up, we need a little bit of uh, blocks of these fellows, right? Redstone blocks, toss those in there along with some red alloy plates. And oh, we need some more iron plates. No big deal. Right there, we're going to make two power buffers, and from that, we should be able to make a capacitor bank. Uh, if only, if only the woodpecker sang that I had some dark steel plates already in that box. Oh, preparation. There we go. Basic capacitor uh, bank. This will allow us to um, basically have a power buffer with RF. We have a power buffer already through our capacitors, but this is just an alternate version. Though for some reason it's not as strong as these ridiculously crazy flux capacitors. I don't know what the deal is there. Um, but the quest was there for it, so we should see it completed. Detect, please. Detect. Is it because it charged? Is that is that really what just happened there? No way. Uh way. Huh. So let's switch those out and get some more iron plates real quick. Lickety quick, please, and thank you. We're, we are working on some more tin alloy plates right there. That's why that was there. Um, I think there was already one here. Beautiful. Um, power bank. Oh, I guess we didn't need that. And another a blank one. There we go. It did want it to be completely empty, and it didn't detect it quick enough. Next up, we're going to make some end of wars. Lovely. Some of those. A timer doohickey. We'll make a just a few clocks, I suppose. Make those. Timers, I think, are pretty useful, so we can always have more of those. Some vacuum chests. We have access to the little crystal doohickey right there because we have the autoclave. Lovely. And an ender chest. Or ender pump. There we go. Um, and that should be a lot of quests complete. Boom! Quest complete. And boom, snad, right? So all sorts of quests just completed. Um, we still need to do Iron Man and some auxiliary thingamabobbers, but I think that's a pretty good spot. We can always hit claim all to get some coins right there, quarters and nickels and whatnot. Toss those into this chest. Can we, oh, you're a little bit confluffled, aren't you? All right, whatever. Um, our dollars are going up great. Omni dollars, 27. I like it. Now, I don't really use those reservoirs because I pay for the extremely expensive, uh, overpriced, um, dense infin uh -oh. infinity water sources, so that is my option of choice. But, you know, things are fantastic. Um, yeah, I like it. However, unfortunately, this is going to have to be the end of the episode. Uh, in this episode, we set up the fantastic and wonderful Pyrolease, which I call a Pyrocluse for some weird reason, um, oven. And we also have our circuits back here, which have been fully operational, and we now have access to much, much cheaper circuits. That makes a very happy Krita. Um, and then we did a whole bunch of little quests. So I hope you enjoyed this massively progress-packed episode, and, uh... Hope you also appreciate some of these little minor improvements to the base. Oh, look at these banisters. They are lovely. All right. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye. This has been Krita playing Omnifactory. Bye!